Hello, I'm Jacob and you're watching the Preppers Bunker Outdoors. Today I want to talk to you about something that I hope that you can get on board with and actually I am coming to you asking for your help. Um, so I recently did a video thinking that Ontario Knife Company could be possibly going out of business because they had axed about half of their products, their sister company Queen Cutlery ceased production due to lack of cash flow, and I know that a lot of their bushcraft knives were changed over from 5160 to 420 HC stainless for some type of cost reduction. And these are all things that scared me for an iconic and historic American company that's been around since 1889. Now, I don't like everything about Ontario. I refuse to review the Ontario rat knives because of their connection to Essie. And essentially, the Ontario rat knives, if you're not familiar, are cheap Essie knives. There's a lot of drama behind that, and I'm not going to go into it here. And I'm also not going to tell you that I know exactly what happened or that I am any kind of historic I'm not a source for that kind of information but what I will say is that Randall's Adventure Training and Essie Knives are two awesome stand-up businesses and no other business should own the rights to the name Randall's Adventure Training I think it is in and of itself no good and yet it is what for the most part Ontario Knife Company is known for their rat line of knives. They sell all over the place dirt cheap. Now, with that out of the way, when I first started getting into knives, like almost anybody on a budget, I started out with the Ontario SP series of knives, the SP5 and the SP10. Great budget choppers at about $50, especially the SP5. Um, but I wasn't completely sold on the... Uh, stick tang and craton handles i wanted to upgrade to a full tang knife and if i was going to upgrade to a full tang knife at the time uh the choices i was looking at came down between the se hungless and the uh becker bk9 i did actually end up picking up a few rtac 2s at the beginning of this channel that was a long time ago but what i didn't realize is that ontario had a whole line of unique uh, fixed blade full tang knives uh, called the Ranger series designed by Justin Gingrich the RD 4, 6, 7, and 9 as well as a few other models the TAC, um, the Falcon which I own which is a great knife anyways I believe that these are look to be very solid knives uh, that Ontario could proudly build a reputation off of knives that they need to be encouraging their users to use and spread and knives that TKC for instance is already making aftermarket handle scales for which is uh, something I'm going to talk about in a moment sadly the only knife left in the uh, RD series is the RD6 like I said, they still do have the TAC and I think the TFI RD6 and the Falcon. Um, but what it appears to, as me, again, not being behind the scenes, not knowing the exact facts, is that Ontario is selling old stock or selling what's remaining of a few of these knife uh, series and is getting ready to be done with them. And here's what I'm trying to do. I started a change.org petition for Ontario to bring back the RD4, RD7, and RD9. These, the reason is that these quarter inch full flat grind knives are unique in the American production knife uh, community uh, and what's available on the American production market. They, uh, I think, complete uh you know what should be available in american production knives from the big companies 
and they're knives that Ontario can really be proud of and that I think would fulfill exactly the role that they are intended, intended to fill. They're, uh, I'll show you pictures here. They're knives that are fully customizable and have a lot of great features and sell at a great price. And they're getting the axe, and I believe it's because they didn't get enough sales, because they didn't market them properly, and uh, they're spending all of their time and money I guess getting government contracts and marketing their rat line of knives. Uh, and here's the problem with that. If you as a company are known uh, for making cheap essies, you'll get a lot of sales. You'll be the stepping stone that a lot gets a lot of people into high-end knives or good quality American production knives. The problem is the knife community uh, will always know you as a cheap version of somebody else's knives and they won't respect that and ultimately anytime someone asks should I buy an Ontario rat whatever knife a lot of people are going to say no if you want an SE get a real SE they're nicer fit and finish better warranty um, better consistency better quality just better knives better sheaths uh, an equal value but better all the way around and that will kill the brand and here's the thing what a lot of car manufacturers figured out in the 60s is what people think is cool what your core community of users think is cool or good is what's going to sell it's going to be what everybody thinks is cool or good I looked these knives up I know there are a lot of users up there out there but on Instagram, there's almost no hashtags for them. The Ontario Knife Company person who runs the Ontario Knife Company Instagram must not know what they're doing, and they are not cultivating uh, a community, a strong community behind their brand, and that is the thing that their competitors are doing, and that is the thing that is making their competitors successful, because as Ontario is axing half of their product line and ensuring people that they're not going out of business, Tops and SE and K-Bar through Becker are adding new products all the time and expanding. What I do not want to see is this classic historic company go out of business while they have the potential for greatness, or at least to add a key component to the American production market. And their knives are so well priced that they do make an excellent stepping stone into the quality production uh, knife arena. And all of them have enough quality, all of their full tang knives, uh, especially the, this Ranger uh, series that I'm talking about, have enough quality so that the user, when they start out, can appreciate the knives, but then they can modify the knives and improve the knives uh, to whatever degree they want. Like my uh, um, Ontario Falcon, which was modified by Terry Taylor, which is easily on par with many, many custom makers. Uh, that knife is a work of art. So here's what I want you guys to do. Help me out. In the description box below, there will be a link to my change.org um, petition. Please sign the petition and share it with your friends. Ask your friends to sign it, even if they don't know what the crap they're signing. Because what I'm hoping is that if we can show Ontario that we can build uh, the interest in these knives that deserve the interest that they will start making them again. And if they do start making the, them again, I want to ensure that I show you guys what they are capable of, and hopefully we can help this iconic American brand, because I'm going to be honest, I feel like there are too many suits over there making decisions, not enough enthusiasts, and I feel like their enthusiast fan base is either dying or already dead and it is honestly a shame I really think it is so please share this video please share my petition uh, check out these Ontario knives 
Um, also, uh, of incredible importance, if you enjoy and appreciate this channel, please uh, either follow me on Instagram or make an Instagram and follow me because I update that very often and you will get much more common updates on what I am doing and what's going on in my life uh, and what knives I'm working with. You'll get way more updates through Instagram than you will through YouTube. Um, and also, this is British uh, DPM uh, waterproof gear that I got from Verustaleka. And I am obviously testing and reviewing that. It's really good stuff. Hopefully I have a video of this all for you soon. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs down. It helps my analytics. I try to talk to everybody in the comment section that I can. So leave me a comment down there. I will get to it. Uh, I hope that you have a blessed day and I appreciate your help. Thank you for watching.